Welcome back, citizens of the future. Today is December 28th, and this is a special video today. I'm going to break down the digital revolution of global trade and showcase just some of the evidence of this digital transformation that's happening across the globe. I'm also going to show you that all this research that I've been talking and teaching and discussing over the last three years is real and it's happening all under our noses. Um, so if you're new to my channel, I am a citizen journalist. I'm a researcher that focuses on the future. I, my alias I go by is citizen of the future because that's my uh, expertise uh, niche. So the first couple things here is when was the last time that you, re you searched on Google digital trade revolution? Probably not very often because nobody knows that there is this revolutionary period throughout the global monetary system happening right now as we speak and it's been happening for the last couple of years because everyone's been so caught up with the mainstream media telling us about and all the propaganda going on so this video is to try and show whoever's witnessing this to step beyond the mainstream media's headlines ignore the noise because what we're talking about, we're ahead of the 99%. Everyone's still asleep. Everyone's so focused in on their own lives. They don't step out of their comfort zone. So this is a chance for you to step outside of your comfort zone and try and open up your mind to what's really going on in our global monetary system. So just to show you guys some visuals that I created to showcase, there is the narrative between all these mainstream media networks that try and divide and conquer us citizens they don't want us to be united because when we unite we're going to make a change because what's been screwing us for the last generations and generations is the control of the government and the military industrial complex which are the string pullers behind the politicians behind the elite um, this is just to showcase why I created Future Citizen News. If you haven't uh, seen what I've created, Google search Future Citizen News and uh, check out, check out uh, the research hub for the citizens, news for the citizens, from the citizens, and it's going to do the opposite of what mainstream does. You know, mainstream media, look throughout COVID. It's pushed fear, biased views, hate against the unvaxxed. It got people to buy Bitcoin at all-time high, sell crypto at all-time low. It gives a person a loss of hope, anxiety, you know, no personal growth. And the mainstream crypto, what do they do? They hype you up to buy shit coins. So this is my uh, initiative to change the world. So let, let's get into it. So as I've been talking for the many years, if you're not paying attention, you'll miss the fourth industrial revolution in the global supply chain and trade finance industry. The transformation from analog to digital will only happen once in the world. Start researching while we are early and not after you missed the opportunity. This right here is a visual from the IPCSA the International Port Community Systems Association that I found watching one of their videos that had 100 views on YouTube. This was a snippet right from there. New technologies. We are amidst the fourth industrial revolution. The technology is evolving faster than ever. Companies and individuals that don't keep up with some of the major tech trends run the risk of being left behind. Single windows, among others, should prepare and grasp the opportunities allowed by these new trending technologies. This is a huge standard setting body across the global supply chain. And what are those technologies? Blockchain, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and analytics, uh, RPAs, which is robotic process automation, and then the internet of things. These are the technologies that people should be looking at because ignore the noise, ignore the news that they're pumping down your throats dig into what is the future because the, the media keeps us in the past and not looking in the future. So there's, there's some more from a, a post from in November, 2022, but the real special thing here is if you Google search digital trade revolution, 
I wrote an article for Future Citizen News to teach you guys about the digital trade revolution to showcase there is this transformational period going on in our world that guess what the mainstream media like I said is not telling you why aren't they telling you that there's a revolution taking place that's transforming business automation cutting costs eliminating paper uh, lead times eliminating 28.5 billion paper documents in one year going across our global trade ecosystem I think that's pretty important so where I got with this is after two weeks of posting this article, it was written so well, the Google algorithm has brought it to the top where let's go. Let's see who we passed We're talking about the digital trade revolution, <clears throat> the data revolution. So I'm just going to read the names. Oh, the world bank. They're now in 46th place for the digital revolution. Austin consulting group. I passed them. This is exciting. HSBC, the digital revolution of global trade, commercial banking. This was in 2019. The IMF, the digital revolution in Asia. Oh, I passed them. Here's one article. The intersection of the of four, industrial revolution and global trade, a digital economy. The Center for International Governance and Innovation. The digital revolution has transformed geopolitics. July 19, 2023. Boston Consulting Group, the digital revolution in trade finance. Forbes, the blockchain revolution in cross-border transactions. K KPMG, the digital revolution. Oh, World Trade Organization, talking about digital technologies and trade. The digital revolution is eating its young. Well, that's weird. <laughs> oh. The smart trade revolution is here. What comes next? April 2023. There's the Center for... International governance and innovation, regulating the digital economy. So look at this. We keep going. I, my article started in spot 53. And now, then it went up to 43. The next day, it was in spot 43. Well, let's keep going because this is exciting. Future Citizen News is giving you guys the research of the future. And it's outranking some of the highest standard setting bodies uh, with this data from Google. Look at this, World Economic Forum. Guess what, guys? You guys just got passed. Digital economy agreements are the new frontier of for trade. Marketing in Asia, new era of global economy. If you guys aren't getting excited by now, I'm getting excited the further and further that I read to showcase that what I've been speaking about, I'm not crazy, and I have the data to teach you guys and whoever else is willing to put the time and effort in to learn about what's happening. Eurofinance, the digital trade revolution. Wikipedia, digital revolution. The revolution in digital trade. Digital trade is undergoing a revolution. Are we prepared? This was in 2022, the Hinrich Foundation. The digital trade revolution, the IE. The banker, digitalization can drive a global trade revolution. Digital trade derives US uh, growth. The digital trade revolution from WITA. Building trust in Asia's digital trade revolution. This is in the top 10 of Google results. This is massive. OECD, another huge standard setters that I've created content on. Digital trade. We're in the top five. Unleashing the digital revolution. Decoding the electronic transformation of the digital economy. The digital trade revolution, number four. Number three, World Economic Forum Digital Trade. I must be bullshitting you guys. Oh, digital trade revolution. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce. What is the next one here? Future Citizen News. The digital trade revolution. By Citizen of the Future. Citizens, there is a transformation taking place. And this is showcasing that it's real. We're there. I never paid no money. This is from or uh, creating a well-written article on the topic that has good images. Now, let's look at the images. I want to show you something here, too. Digital trade revolution. Future citizen news. 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 FCN. Oh, there's the World Economic Forum. Well, guess what? FCN. FCN, FCN, 
<laughs> so that's exciting to me, FCN, because look at how many FCN images that's talking about the future, that's showcasing this transformation is taking place. And here it is. Now, let me finish off this video. You guys can search the digital trade revolu revolution, see whereabouts it is on your search history, because sometimes if you're in the US, if you're in a different place, I'm in Canada, so it's coming out first. It might come in third or, or second, depending on where you are in the globe. But go check it out. Research, Google search, because then that helps Google showcase that you guys are liking the content. Um, but let's close this off with this video right here that I said, please understand the value of my digital trade research content. This shows we are seriously at the forefront of a new era. If you are not trying to see connections, you will lose advantage of being early to the digital revolution of the global supply chain and the trade finance industries. This is a monumental time. This was in September, July when I shared this one. But this is in the UK House of Lords when they're talking about the, the digital revolution currently taking place in the UK. They are the leaders of the G7 nations. Follow the UK, follow Japan, follow Asia, because Canada and the West and the United States are falling way far behind in this race to adoption of blockchain and DLT and these four IR technologies. So let's watch this, close this off. Thank you for watching. If you guys get something from this, Please share this, leave some comments. So back to the video. So back to the video. My Lords, would my noble friend agree that digital economy agreements represent the very future of trade? Economy agreements represent the very future of trade. We must ensure particularly that small and medium sized enterprises are fully aware of this opportunity and would he further agree that when we put DEAs together with the recently passed Electronic Trade Documents Bill, passed Electronic Trade Documents Bill, we could really believe they're on the brink of a new golden age for international trade. The brink of a new golden age for international trade. Yeah. So, this should showcase where we are at. We are at a turning point for history. Well, the 99% of our populations are distracted and not taught about the transformation. You know, what are our kids being taught in school? They're taught how to be confused, how to be a nine to five worker. They don't teach you how to, to build a business, how to learn the financial system. They distract you and they want workers for life. They don't want people to be leaders in this industrial revolution. So that's where I am. I'm here for the citizens and I've dedicated years of my life to sharing research to try and help the ones that are deep thinkers that want to step out of the limelight of the mainstream media. So cheers. Give me a follow on Twitter there at Utility Theory or Future Citizen News, which is at FC News underscore reports. And uh, you'll get some of our best research content. Cheers. Thank you.